Did that get your attention? All right, welcome back, Bucketheads. And I'm sorry to tell you, but I'm an AI. I haven't been making my own videos since DK Oldies. Uh, I, I, you know, I just got too in love with the money and I decided, hey, I'm gonna turn myself into an AI and just have it all you produced for me. I'm not putting any work. I'm not sitting in front of a camera right now. This is all AI generated, my friends. is what I would say if I was Mark Zuckerberg. According to this Dexardo article, Mark Zuckerberg wants content creators to use AI clones. Now, let me tell you why that's a bad idea. When someone says content creator, I usually think of YouTubers because that's the main platform I use, but I guess there's also like Twitter, TikTok, Rumble, you know, all the DGen platforms. Think about that name, YouTube. There's two words, literally you, tube, meaning that you are putting yourself on the tube. Why in God's name would anyone ever support AI model videos on YouTube? Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta, has said that he sees a future where content creators make AI clones of themselves. I also see a future where that happens. Doesn't mean that it's a good thing or that it should happen. Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether they could but they didn't stop to ask with whether they should. I said this a couple months back when EA decided that they wanted to start making AI video games. If you start taking intrinsically artistic things and pushing an AI overlord onto that thing, it completely ruins the point of consuming that medium, right? Like, because I want to see the human piece of that content. I have no interest at all in watching videos created by an AI. That's just, for one, scummy. It takes out the, the fun of making YouTube videos, and two, it just proves that you're doing it for the money. Now, I'm not saying that I don't like the money that comes with YouTube. What I'm saying is that you at least gotta put a little bit of work into it, man. You gotta sit in front of the camera and actually say shit. Anytime I'm scrolling on TikTok or Instagram reels or YouTube shorts and I find a video that has an AI voice, I immediately click, I am not interested, do not recommend this channel, because that's bullshit that someone could just sit down, generate AI voice, throw it on the video platform and get like millions of views, literally no effort. Zuckerberg's vision of the future for content creators and businesses is that they'd be able to create AI agents for themselves. An AI agent is a sculpted version of a language model and can be deployed to mimic an individual or get the tone of the business across. So basically what it's doing is replacing the actual influencer in the content. Therefore, you're not actually watching the people that you like, you're watching a fucking face version of them that has been sculpted to act just like them. Boys, if I ever start daily uploading again, just know that I sold my soul to the devil, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, and that I have created an AI agent for myself. Of course, this lizard robot fuck would want to make an AI content creator. The idea behind deploying an AI clone of yourself or your business is to make room for more work by offloading admin or tedious tasks to an agent. Zuckerberg envisions interaction with communities being done with this AI clone. Are you serious? YouTube has got to be the easiest fucking job in the world. You literally sit down in front of a camera and talk into a microphone for like at least eight minutes. And then you edit the video or you send it off to someone else to edit. Is that really that tedious or mundane or hard? Like if you're taking out the part where you're actually making the content, What's the point in even making the content? I think there's going to be a huge unlock where basically every creator can pull in all of their information from social media and train these systems to reflect their values and their objectives and what they are trying to do. Then people can interact with that. It'll almost be like the artistic artifact that creators create that people can kind of interact with different ways. Where is the artisticness and literally having a robot do all the work for you? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. You're literally having a fucking robot do all the work for you. Art is made by humans. AI cannot produce emotion. It can replicate emotion, but it cannot create or have or feel emotion. That is not artistic. That is a gross misrepresentation of some gobbledygook ass jargon to make stock investors go, Whoa! 
I want AI! Going back over this video after editing it, I have realized that I really didn't explain what admin work is, and I'll just I'll just read it off here what Business Today says. Zuckerberg thinks AI clones can help creators engage with their fans more easily. These AI versions of creators would handle things like responding to comments and messages, freeing up time for creators to focus on making new content. So basically what that means is part of the human interaction of a YouTube channel, you know, like responding to the comments, responding to your fans, responding to your community would be done by an AI, which isn't necessarily replacing the content creator themselves with an artificial intelligence, but it's still taking a piece out of the human involvement with the fans. And arguably, that might be worse, like responding to your fans in a non-human way. Like that's literally not even a real person responding to the comments or the messages. Like, does nobody else see a problem with this? To build onto that, I can easily see this spiraling into, oh, AI content creator, like some Quebble cop type shit. No, no, we don't want AI. Coming from a content creator, we don't want AI to take over our roles. It's the same problem artists have with AI generated art. You're taking away jobs from people that can't compete with the sheer output of an AI model. People that actually have integrity and actually want to put work into something, want to be able to put that work into something and make something that they actually care about and then also make money from it. I kid you not, I was in a mall not too long ago and I found actual AI generated art being sold in the mall. How is that even legal? Is that even allowed? <laughs> I've had this theory in my brain for the past six months or so. Going into the future while AI is still improving, like we see the actual AI videos that look real, like real life. My game theory here is that AI is going to advance to the point where when you go out to go see a movie, that a selling point is going to be no AI used. Or like when there's a content creator that doesn't use AI, that's going to be like one of their selling points. Like, oh, this is a real guy, not an AI. Now, Mark Zuckerberg seems to be very interested in using this AI model for content creation. And let me tell you that it's just not a good idea by any stretch of the imagination. Here's a YouTuber by the name of Quibble Cop with almost 20 million subscribers. A while back, he decided that, hey, I want to create the Quebble Cop AI and make all of my videos using AI. With a channel that has 15 million subscribers, you would expect them to pull at least like 1.5 million views per video. But if we look at the views of Quebble Cop, ever since he released that AI model, which he doesn't use it anymore because people fucking hated it, uh, he has fallen off greatly. I mean, he's struggling to crack. 40k views here. I mean, he's still getting more views than me. I mean, I wish I could get 40k views consistently, but like he has fallen off tremendously. I mean, 19,000 views for this one, and he doesn't even use the AI. He made one AI video, and after that, fell off far enough. You can see that he was getting healthy views, and about a year ago is when he introduced that Quibble Cop AI bullshit, and he was getting he was getting decent views. You know, he was cracking 100,000 to getting a million views on a semi-consistent basis, and now barely cracking 100k sometimes can't even hit 40k bro people don't want ai content creators that is that is the short and sweet of it people just don't want that i mean here is a whole different channel that he runs that only uses ai generated content well like i guess the gameplay is real but like the voice model and the vtuber bullshit like that's all that's all ai generated from what i understand Yeah, no, this is AIDS and cringe. I know this was for children, but it's still AIDS and cringe and you shouldn't make videos like this because AI is bad. Why would you want to feed the machine? Why would you want to make the machine turn into an actual human? That's how you get fucking Terminator. I don't know, Bucketheads. Maybe I'm just an old fart. Maybe I'm just an old man yelling at a cloud because it's stopping me from looking at the sun. That's a joke. I don't go outside. So tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you think that we need AI generated YouTubers? And if so, tell me why you think that because I'm going to absolutely slam the fart down on you and ban you from my YouTube channel because that's just an abhorrent take. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm open to criticism. Maybe there's some light at the end of the terminal that I'm not seeing here, but I, there is no scenario that I actually see that this turns into a good thing, you know? All right, that's it. Bye.